yes, I'm on it. I just wanna be iconic. Sipping on a gin and tonic. Got me going off on a mindless topic. Yeah, if I ever play, I want it. You know that I'm always on Hello, everyone, and welcome to Nisi Lexi. If you're new here, I'm a content creator, digital marketer, as well as a blogger. So today we are gonna today we are gonna be covering obviously as the title mentioned, the types of bid strategy that you can utilize for your uh, PPC strategies. Last video, I cover what is Google ad and some of the campaign Google ads offer and how we will be able to utilize this in order to help and optimize for online marketing campaign. Um, so a little bit about me, as you guys all know, also for some of my previous video is that I am a Google product trainer, a PPC strategist, as well as a digital marketing um, enthusiast, enthusiastic in Google digital marketing expert hashtag. Anyway, so without further ado, welcome to my channel. If you're new here, I'm a content creator, digital marketer, as well as a strategist. And I love anything that has to do with branding, digital marketing, content creation, coaching and training. I do have a private course where I offer about personal branding, SEO, and also some of the online marketing. But today I uh, wanted to share with you guys some of the bid strategy that is available when you are running Google ads, especially if you're considering on running it on your own. So you can understand when to use it, how to use it, and what are the most effective ones to use it, depending on your marketing goal. So if you're new here, make sure to hit the subscribe button so you can stay up to date with my content. As you all know, I do have my weekly uh, live interview that I do with, uh, with uh, entrepreneurs from around the globe here every Thursday, as well well as I do have my Friday boss up with me girl stack edition that is dedicated to any female uh, inspiring entrepreneur or CEO that would love to know how to scale their business or just get an insight on how they can start their own or build up and establishing their brand. These content are, are airing every Friday here It's called the boss up with me. And yeah, and I also do online training, which is the e-learning Sunday segment. And that's the one that you're currently watching. And this is basically dedicated to educate you and be able to share with you guys some of my digital marketing. I also have a blog that you can also go read on this content at www.nisilexi.com slash e-learning, where you will find all the latest um, blogging posts that I basically shared there. So without further ado, let's head into the video. That was a long introduction about what I do. I do a lot of things. And let's get into the video. So what exactly it is a bit of strategy and why we use bit of strategy and how does bit of strategy come into place? So with Google ads, there are several bit of strategy that's available to you. Obviously, it all depends on the channel that you're using, the marketing platform within Google. So Google ads, as I mentioned in the last video, there is um, the search network where you can use the ppc through search and then there's also the display network there is also the youtube network and also there is the shopping local campaign and now also the performance max so all of these are basically google marketing inventory that is available for you to be able to utilize to market your brand whether to generate lead raise brand awareness uh produce online sin, do considerations, what have you, whatever your objective is, there is uh, a marketing tool within Google Ads that is available for you to utilize. So some of these stuff also come with British strategy. So each of these British strategy actually was designed by Google for a specific goal. And as a Google uh, product trainer, as well as a PPC strategist, so I am constantly kind of speaking and selecting these bid strategy according to what the client basically needs with their ad and what they're hoping to get out of Google. The first thing I would say when you are basically entering Google and based on your objective, if your um, main objective is to basically have a control on your, on your uh, keywords, basically each keywords on Google ads, inter auctions have different prices and different 
uh, cost that is associated with it, depending on the day, the time, the locations, also the volume of that keyword, all of them are going to cost a little bit differently and also the competition that for that specific keyword. So sometimes it might be higher and sometimes it might be lower. And uh, most of the OG uh, PPC strategists would use the manual bid, which is basically kind of going up and down and, and fighting for that particular keyword when they wanted to either be bid kind of like aggressive or bid down. So they essentially would use the manual CPC. However, when time goes uh, on and Google have more of like a machine learning and updated data, and now it's kind of focusing more on attribution, uh, non last click model and data driven. And basically the system is more robust and system has a lot of information that we'd be able to accurately predict the behavior for, for user who's likely to either buy an item for you or who likely to fill up a form. So all of this information is available and that is why we have other uh, bid strategies in place. So manual bid is becoming a little bit less of a use as compared to the usability of it 10 years ago. Um, there is also something called the target impression share. So these are usually used if you are trying to do more for brand awareness, but also you're trying to compete with your competitor, making sure that your ads actually show up on the first page of Google at all times or 50% of the time, 80% of the time, you basically determine the percentage of how often you wanna show up on the first page and kind of on the top of the page and competing against your competitors, you would use target impression share. So you just basically technically word about appearing on top of the page and beating your competitor in the visibility aspect of it. So you will select that bid strategy. The other bid strategy, which is also kind of, it's considered like a 50, 50 uh, manual and also 50% automated with machine learning. So this will call, it's called the, um, it's called the enhanced CPC, which also the enhanced cost per click, because the functionality of it, it this does it still kind of give you control to, to bid up and down, but also it kind of focuses either on going to for man, for conversion or for clicks. So you'd be able to kind of like automate what exactly you want out of that. And you would be able to kind of bid up and down, have the same feature of the manual CPC, but also with machine learning and kind of focusing on data driven. Then the most uh, common use, for especially the smart bid that Google has is the maximize click. So with maximize click, uh, this basically focuses on understanding if the person is likely to click on the ad or not. So whenever you are creating a PPC campaigns, if the system notices that Anytime somebody sees a specific headlines or descriptions from your brand, that person or uh, historical data shows that they're more likely to engage with your campaign, they're more likely to click on that ad. It you would be uh, using maximize click to kind of understand that uh, behavior, but also maximize click is used especially for brand awareness. Let's say if you want to drive as much traffic to your website, you want to drive as much visibility. And you just basically uh, kind of create this is a new website or a new product, and you want a lot of visibility. You want a lot of people to kind of enter your and bring them down the funnel as you go. So you would develop the maximize click, and that is basically essential to drive as much traffic as you want it to your website and get engagements and getting tractions and for people to consider your brand and uh, to consider actually reading something about you or kind of learn about what you offer. That would be that um, bid strategy. However, if your goal is to focus on actually generating leads and getting sales, getting phone calls, or somebody filling up a form, then your bid strategy will now focus on actually maximize conversion. Because Google Maximize Conversion, it is designed to focus on conversion based focus. And the maximize is basically. It depend. It doesn't matter if you have a, a big amount of budget or low amount of budget. It would utilize the current budget that you set up for, and it will try to maximize that budget to get you as much conversion as possible. So if you um have if you have let's say thirty dollar a day, that thirty dollar a day is going to be utilized to get you as much 
clicks and conversion. And the system will start to look for behavior for an individual who's likely to convert, not people who just want to click on your ad. So what it essentially does is that, let's say you have 100 people walk into your store, but only 20 people end up buying from that is from your store and the ad AD just left the store. So the next time your uh, people in the next day when uh, 80 more, 100 more people are coming. So now you know that only 20% people actually actually buy from you as opposed to the 80%. So that is how maximize conversion function. It looks to the historical data from your account and the likelihood of those people actually converting. And anytime your keywords or your ads entering auction, it looks into those signals. It looks into who is likely to convert, and then it would gonna go after this individual and it would tend to utilize the budget that you have and the budget that you said. It would not, sometimes the budget will fluctuate. So, and day one might be higher, day two might be lower, day three might be higher again, but the total ad spent for the month will stay as it, it would never go beyond the, the actual monthly budget set. So that is the good thing about it, but daily it would fluctuate depending on the market demand and maximize conversion basically is that it works especially if you have a low budget it will work great at it with uh, the second is smart bid strategy which is called the target cpa or the target cost per action it has similar functionality as maximize conversion the only difference is that it's now focusing on cost per acquisition so now you're telling the system i want as much conversion as possible i want that 20 people that are most likely to actually buy from my store or 20 people that were most likely to call me or convert i want that to an individual however i do not want to pay beyond certain uh points so if, if for every lead that is coming into my store i don't want to pay for those leads. i don't want to pay let's say 20 dollars for those leads i want to pay 15 dollars. i want to pay 10 dollars. so you're setting a cap as to how what comf what is the budget that you're comfortable with and then the system would look if every time your keyword is entering auctions and those that keyword actually costs more than ten dollar then your ad is not going to enter auction but if the with it but if the keyword is going to cost you let's say ten dollar nine dollar six dollar then you're likely to enter that auction and get that conversion as much as possible with the budget that you set for that daily budget but keep in mind you have a cost per acquisition which is the cost per lead that is gonna be be charged when you enter those auctions that is basically kind of giving you a little bit more of a control for your budget but with this type of bid strategy you also have to keep in mind you have to increase your budget because the chances of you getting a lower conversion cost for that particular keyword is gonna be slim due to high demand and competition, depending on your industry, especially if you're in real estate and if you are in healthcare, these type of industries tend to be very expensive. And using a target CPA, you also need to consider facilitating your budget by increasing the amount of budget and kind of keeping your target CPA at a minimum. If you have an aggressive CPA, which means a very low CPA set, then you are basically limiting your chance of entering a lot of action um auction and therefore you will see a low performance in your campaign and the campaign might not drive you as much as conversion as possible so generally speaking when you are first starting your campaign we recommend you to start with maximize conversion until you get enough data so once you have a, a data for 30 days and you know that your average cost per conversion is at certain points so you would use that number of the average cost per conversion to set it as your target cpa going forward and you train the system to start getting your conversion that are lower and lower that is the best practice of utilizing and this is actually trained coming straight out of you know google who made this product um the other bid strategy this bid strategy is actually called the smart bid 2.0 which is basically the maximized conversion value so in a state of bidding for maximized conversion as much conversion as possible now you're gonna have to include the value for that conversion so if those 20 people that are coming into your store for that i said earlier is likely to buy let's say an air jordan from you or likely to buy uh, a tv and those tv either cost 500 dollars or two thousand dollars so that is your monetary value for that specific product from your store when somebody enter so you would be putting the average order value on your conversion action to tell the system 
every time somebody walks into my store, this is how much I make so that the system now knows and understands that when somebody clicks on your ad and buys from you, that's how much you generate. So the likelihood of the system now understanding that behavior of that individual and the likelihood of, of them clicking on your ad and bringing that monetary value for your business, now the system is gonna look for people that are kind of similar and fit that profile, profile because now you're focusing on value return and instead of just kind of getting conversion here. So it is great usually using this bit of strategy if you're doing like, let's say shopping ads, you would go for maximize conversion value. And if you already, if you are a lead gen and you already know the value of each lead that you potentially can get, you do the calculations, then you can go ahead and kind of utilize that. But generally speaking, e-commerce are very, very uh, good with using maximize conversion value. The uh, other uh, smart bid 2.0 uh, bid strategy is called the target ROAS or the target return on ad, on ad spend or target return on ad spend. This is more like target ROSA. I used to say it, but it's called target ROAS. Um, this is also kind of similar to target CPA. However, the difference is you're putting the percentage of return that you wanted to acquire and you would be able to kind of set in a percentage for every um, lead that you're getting, how much return of ad investment you want to generate. And usually um, you would also do kind of similar, making sure that the campaign has been running for maximized conversion value for at least 30 days and you have 15 conversions that coming in through that auctions and recorded it. Then you would set the target draws according to that number by doing the calculation of taking your, um, the cost per conversion value divided, I mean, sorry, time 100, and then you'll put that percentage in there. If you put an aggressive target ROAS, let's say you put a very high number of target ROAS, this can also impact your performance because you are not going to allow a product that have a lower margin entering a lot of auctions because you are basically aiming for high return of ad investment. That would also impact your performance. So you have to make sure that that percentage number is very accurate or what you can essentially do, especially if you're running a, a shopping campaign, try to divide those shopping products by segment them into different ad groups, making sure that each and single ad group that on specific products have a specific margin and their ROAS are set up as accordingly to be able to facilitate that ad group to have a better return of ad investments and better performance for your campaign. The other better strategy that is available, these are mostly for YouTube campaigns. So you have the CPC, uh, CPM better strategy, which is the cost per thousand impression. This is also available for brand awareness type of YouTube campaign when you want to do that six second video, where I know that have you ever watched like a, a YouTube video like this one and then a commercial comes, you have to wait for that six second to end before you can go ahead. So those are the ones that would normally use the target CPM with impression because Google will start charging you after every thousand uh, impression or every thousand uh, view for that ads, then Google will charge you. It's a bit more cost effective way of doing it, but it's also great for brand, um, brand awareness. However, if you wanted to start driving for conversion, then you would have different bit of strategies available. I can cover this in our next video, and I'm also going to give you guys a live demo on how YouTube campaign functions and the best way to do strategy uh, with YouTube campaign and how you can drive the most out of your, your money with YouTube app. If this video was really helpful and you would love to learn more about Google Ads and you would love to have a one-on-one -on -one session, feel free to send me an email or you can join my um, private course that I teach on Google Ads and I'll be more than happy to share with you guys some of the insights and how I run a very effective uh, Google Ads campaigns for clients as well as myself. So yeah, we'll see you guys next time. Make sure to hit the subscribe button and keep learning. So see you guys next time. Bye. I've been doing this I'm on it. I just wanna be iconic. Sipping on a gin and tonic. Got me going off on a mindless topic. Yeah. If I ever play